Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Crypto Clear. I will not disappoint you with this video today because we are talking about artifacts, which is essentially a play to earn game that takes it to a whole new level. It is a web three metaverse with play and earn economy. You can explore the meta world, play PAA games, exhibit and trade NFTs, make events and so much more. So let's get into it, you guys. Let's go through the website itself and I'm going to highlight its key features. Scrolling on through, you can see that they have their socials that are posted at the top, along with their white papers. So as you guys know, I am not giving financial advice. Always do your own independent research, and a good way to start is by the white paper. There is also the launch pad, and they are powered by Unreal Engine and Binance Smart Chain and have security audited by Certic. So they have been audited by Certic and their team has passed the KYC requirements. So here we are on the Certic document where each of the team members have provided an identity document. And also you can see the badges over here at the top confirming that the project is in the top 10 most viewed project on the Certic website. So that's pretty huge. You can view their PDF and view their findings as well. So you can see that there's zero issues unresolved with 11 resolved. Now that we verify that it's a safe and sound website, let's go on in to the trailer. So about artifacts, let's view the trailer. So I don't know about you guys, but to me, I'm super excited about this one. We've seen the cool NFTs, the avatars, the real estate that you can buy, the events, and all of it's done with super great graphics, a super good layout. So that just goes to show you that a lot of time and grit was invested in the project. And it's something that these people, this team actually, actually cares about, you know, the product that they're displaying. Now let's check out a PAE deathmatch demo. So this will be one of the game plays. We're just going to highlight this one over because it is nine minutes. <laughs> And I feel like a lot of the Fortnite lovers are gonna love this one. It's kind of giving me that vibe. It looks to be so fun. And like I said, highlight the graphics, you guys. Like it's really good. The design of it is just impeccable. So if you guys wanna get into a shooting game, you know, head on over for the artifacts. So we're gonna keep scrolling on through. We have an overview of the metaverse game, which we're gonna check out. Here we have this cool looking avatar, you guys, but you can have very soon. He's a boss, he just stopped that car, did not care. <laughs> Ooh, it's a portal. Okay. And then starts, I guess this is when he gets into his game mode. So there we have it, you guys. Here's a preview of what you can be engaging in. So Artifact is truly a next generation Web3 gaming metaverse that combines the best of AAA and GameFi games using an innovative play and earn model that puts gaming experiences above earnings. And this is what I highlight as to why I like this project compared to other planner models is really the experience that they're giving you. It's not just about making that money. They are bringing gaming experience above 
that. So artifact users can play various AAA quality games and earn arty, buy and exchange in-game NFTs, as well as attend virtual concerts, NFT exhibitions, fashion shows, and esports tournaments. This project, you guys, is still in its first stages within the pre-sale. And so the pre-sale just started and it is on four launch pads. This is really rare when pre-sale is conducting on the four launch pads. You don't see this often. And after the pre-sale, we're going to be seeing the IDO here and then the listings. So the token prices as of right now are set at 28 cents. The date is ongoing. Minimum investment is 250 and the max investment is set at 50,000. And you can buy directly on the website. It will take you over here. Whereas you can check it out on the launch pad. Just log in or create your account. And over here on the RD token section, we can see that there's a hundred million RD tokens out there and that every quarter actually artifact will use 20% of profits to buy back RD and burn them. So this makes RD deflationary and ensures a constant increase in its price. Other, in other words, it is a native deflationary cryptocurrency and governance token of the artifact ecosystem. The integrated play and earn solutions maintain a constant demand for the RD, which continuously stimulates the growth of its value. Also to mention that back where we were on the launch pad section at the top beside the white list, you will see that artifact pre-TGE staking is available for pre-sale participants, you guys. So this is one of the big things that you should get onto because this, for one year, you will get 50% profits. For two years, you would get 200%. And for three years, you get 600%. So that's something that's hard to give up. So get onto that pre-sale. Now I want to get more into the game mode. So we have Deathmatch, which is a mode where every other player is a target. As we've seen in those videos, you can get shot very quickly if you're not paying attention. To win, the players must have the most eliminations by the end of the game, which is 12 minutes long. Team Deathmatch is a mode where the other team is a target and the whole team has a pool of victory score, so VPs. And to win this one, the team must be the first to score 125 VPs. In the control game mode, this is the mode where the player needs to ensure the control points along with the teammates to increase team score and win. And we have the battle royale. And in this mode, the goal is to be the last player standing by eliminating all other opponents. So four modes to choose from you guys, take your pick. As for the artifact features, it offers, as we've seen, a variety of gameplay options suited for every kind of player. You can play in a multiplayer play to earn games such as the Battle Royale or Racing and Earn Arty. You can also pass through a wide range of single player and multiplayer missions scattered through the artifact world. If you join the NFT world, you will not be disappointed as every game asset in Artifact is an NFT. It can be weapons, it can be vehicles, clothes, or estate. You can also win NFTs in PAE games, trade them in the marketplace, and even modify your NFTs, making them even more valuable. Participate in events is something that you should do as well because virtual events open up many opportunities that are not available in the real world. Artifact ecosystem will allow citizens to organize paid and free events such as exhibitions, virtual concerts, runway shows, and meetings. So really this token is taking like something that's just gaming and just boosting it with so many more things to do through events. You can use features for influencers and brands. So Artifact ecosystem will give the opportunity for influencers and brands to interact with their audience in a brand new way. It can be cooperative gaming, event sponsorship, virtual merch creation, and much more. And again, this is what I love about crypto is that they're taking it to a whole other level and they're bringing back more power for the influencers and brands to really get to interact directly with their audiences without a third party involved. The project has been featured on media countless of times, including all of these ones. So there's over 12 places that they've been featured on. And this includes Cointelegraph, which is one of the big ones where Web3 Gaming Metaverse aims to revolutionize 
revolutionize GameFi. So this is an article that you guys can read. I highly recommend where they're talking about how GameFi is one of the hottest buzzwords in crypto right now, but winning over players has been proven a bit challenging. And then they go into how Artifact is just dominating. So our lives have been increasingly digital with many of us spending 50% of our time online, if not more. But right now, the biggest games, social media blockchain platforms are failing to fully embrace the potential of NFTs and Web3, and this is what Artifact intends to fix. There you guys have it. They also have countless of partners that are involved in the project, including York Street Capital, uh, GSR, Altura, all of these big names here. So it's really cool to see that all of these resources are getting poured into this project because it can ensure that it's going to be well supported in a big name. So here we have the table with artifacts that are compared to Sandbox, Decentraland, and Axie Infinity, Fortnite, GTA, Apex, and Legends. Artifacts got your NFTs. Artifact has high quality 3D graphics, which sandbox and these guys don't have the PE games which they are the only ones to have as well as a 3d nft marketplace they all have events esports feature for influencer and brands and they have virtual billboards so you guys can check it out you can see that artifacts is checking off all of the boxes compared to the others who only have two or three more of the Artie features include build on BSC. So Artie is a BEP20 token built on the Binance Smart Chain blockchain, thus ensuring high transaction processing performance, low network fees, and of course, high reliability. The use for payment now. So Artie is used as an internal currency on the Artifact platform. You can use it to pay for any platform services as Artifact subscription plans, promotion services, and much more. A lot of people are really intrigued by the governing of the artifact a lot of and with this project decentralization is the center of the artifact ideology that's why the feature of artifact is in the hands of rd token holders all changes to artifact will be voted in through rd government so this is really what we love is to see that the government is broken down and in the hands of its users. We have the rewards for staking. So this is where we were talking about the exclusive pre-TG already staking for early investors, you guys. So one year, 50%, two year, 200, and three year, 600% profit. It is hard to believe, but it is there and it is true. So as for the burning, you guys, every quarter artifact team will use 20% of profits to buy back already and burn them. And lastly, you have your privileges where additional benefits are available to already staking participants, such as discounts on artifact services, participation in lotteries, private events, and so much more. Then you guys, we have the token distribution. So the allocation of the RD token. Treasury is set at 20%, liquidity and listing 10, team and advisors is 12. They do need their cut so that they can ensure a great project as we can see. We have the ICO IDO at five, marketing 15. You, it's nice to see like a good 15 allocated to the marketing so that you know it ensures that it's getting distributed to its investors, its market. The foundation is four and sticking and farming is. Is 34 so this is like a, a healthy balance that we can see in the arty then you guys we have the roadmap which so many more awesome things are going to be coming you guys there's going to be listings so i do want to highlight the fact that they are just in their pre-sale section and they already have a playable demo so usually projects publish their demos a long time after the end of the ico so this is pretty remarkable and here we have the leadership with the people who are identified oleg dalton here we have the founder and CEO is Oleg, Dalton is the operations manager, Cameron is the CMO, and the advisor is Eugene. We have a CBO, a CTO with their names as well, and all of them you guys can find on LinkedIn, you can find their nationality, so it's really see cool to see that they are transparent with their project as well. Then there's the FAQ section at the bottom. So you guys, we mostly covered the entire project, the only other thing that we haven't seen is the RD drop, so if by clicking on here, you'll be sent to their Telegram. So download your Telegram and go in and send them a message. So you guys, if you are looking for a great play and earn project with a high quality design, with a good economy, one that puts forth the gaming experience over 
the money that you're going to earn, but don't worry, you're still going to be making that money. You want to go to Artifact. This what distinguishes this project from others is really this ecosystem that is focused on the gaming experience. You guys have seen the different modes, you've seen how cool they are and how much it can offer to players, influencers, there's literally something for everyone. So go on to Artifacts. I'm going to have every link listed in the description down below for you guys to check out and for it to be accessible to go in and hit that token sale, start buying your tokens or even get listed in the pre-sale so that you can start that staking mode as well. With this said, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one.